So I'm here with Jonathan Hodo. He's a member of the College Black Bears, also from uh, Benedictine University. So, Jonathan, the first question I have for you is just kind of talking about your experience in college playing baseball. You know, it's a little bit different from high school ball, obviously. So what things have you had to adjust and uh, really kind of learn as you go? Um, the main things I had to really learn was, you know, staying in the weight room and keep working hard, you know, because there's going to be a lot of um, adversity that you face and everything. You know, my first year I was at D2 and everything was fine, but the baseball didn't work out and that kind of just told me just keep working because, you know, I got the talent and everything, just kind of just stay focused and just stay true to yourself. Absolutely. And then here you are with the Black Bears for the summer. What things are you trying to focus on and, and develop in your game or is it just kind of a, an overall work area? Um, just, just the overall work area, you know, I just want to just keep keep putting the ball in the gap, you know, keep working on my defense, keep working on my speed, you know, stealing the bases and everything like that. And then, you know, you are Benedictine and you mentioned you were at D2 at first now here. What led you to, uh, to transfer and, you know, why did you choose that university over other spots? Uh, coming out of um, that D2 school, I went to a JUCO actually for a year, you know, to pick up some stats mm -hmm. and then I played for the summer. And then I really didn't have no offers coming out of my JUCO. I did, but like all the schools kind of like backed out on me towards the end. Then one of my guys on my JUCO, he's a pitcher, he told me just come try out for his uh, Benedictine coach. And then they saw me play at the summer one time. Then, you know, it all worked out. It's awesome how things kind of just happen the right way. So, you know, also looking at it, you know, for baseball to be able to be effective, you got to have people behind you pushing you and kind of motivating you, inspiring you. Who in your life has been that, that motivator and that inspiration for you? Uh, first off, my parents. You know, I watch it from my dad, you know, his work ethic, he always working all the time, you know, providing for the family and everything. Then uh, Curtis Granderson, too, like, he's like a guy, kind of like a big brother to me, kind of looks out for me. You know, we have conversation, you know, if I need something, I ask him for it. You know, he kind of just looks out for me. It's always nice having those people that are there to, to keep you going, keep you motivated. And then, you know, baseball is a game that has a lot of routine, also kind of superstitions in some ways. Is there anything for you that you have to do before each game that keeps you going or keeps you, uh, keeps you focused? Uh, <laughs> I listen to this. I listen to one song. I mean, I have to. Um, Still Dre by uh, Dr. Dre and um, Snoop Dogg has one more. Uh, Ambitious as a writer by uh, Tupac. So those kind of like the two songs I have to listen to before every game to get me going. No, I get, you have those songs keep you motivated, keep you focused. Absolutely. And you know, being up here in the Northwest is a little bit different than playing in, in Illinois. You know, so how's your experience been so far being up here and? You know, the weather's a little bit different, you know, some similarities, but what's it like just being up here in the Northwest? Oh, it's beautiful, man. Just the scenery, like the trees and the mountains and all that, you know, because Illinois is pretty much flat. And just to come out here and see this when I was on the plane, just flying in, it was like, it was so beautiful, you know? <laughs> yeah, it is. A, it's an amazing thing. So last question I have for you, you know, you got a lot of kids who watch college games and the summer leagues like this. What advice do you have for those kids who are saying, no, someday I want to play at that level and, and be competitive? Just to keep grinding, man, it's going to be a lot of people that try to bring you down and tell you that you can't do it, that you're too small or, you know, somebody out there better. But you guys just keep working. Awesome. Well, thank you very much, Jonathan. Thank you.